guys and welcome back to my channel today i've got another procreate brush review slash try out video and it's gonna be a watercolor one i'm really excited because i absolutely love watercolors i love the texture i just love everything about it i love the way they bleed together so having a brush pack digitally that emulates watercolors is quite interesting and i'd like to see how much emulation i can actually get on procreate with this brush pack now as you guys know tom is my friend who owns design cuts so he's kindly gifted me these this watercolor brush packs and i'm super super excited to try it out because you get quite a lot in this pack this video isn't sponsored or anything like that i just really like experimenting and trying out new brush packs don't know why because uh, you never know when you fit when you're going to find your next favorite brush because if you're anything like me i use the same brushes or if i find something that i really enjoy illustrating with i'll use it over and over and over again that's why the soft boxes are on today because i'm going to point down and I'm gonna do a little illustration and seeing as though I'm pretty Disney-fied today I've got Disney earrings in Disney jumper and recently I seen Frozen 2 which was freaking epic by the way I absolutely loved it let me know in the comments if you liked it if you've seen it I decided I'm gonna draw all off because it's winter and yeah I want to do it in my style I want to make him cute and that's what I'm gonna do an experiment with today so I have a theme and a topic to illustrate with so I'm just going to show you the computer and I'm going to run down some of the things you get included in this brush pack then I'm going to do some swatches and then I'm going to get into illustrating and do a little time-lapse speed paint and give you my thoughts so yeah let's jump into it and let me just show you what is in this brush pack so this is the everything watercolor for procreate and this is currently on sale for $20 which is around £15 roughly. You get two brushes that are specifically designed for lettering, eight effect brushes, four brushes which are dry and textural, eight drops and splatter brushes, eight wet on wet all over texture brushes, nine watercolor paper texture brushes and 21 other brushes. So as you can see this looks pretty cool. The illustrations on the actual list in themselves look really interesting and I'm really excited to try these out. So let Let's do some swatches and open the brush pack up and see what we feel about them. I went and installed the brushes and everything. There was also this file that opened up in Procreate and it just says print on the layers below the paper texture stack picking the texture you like by hiding or showing the group of the paper within the paper stack so there's like different papers in here this was actually a lot easier to install than the other ones i literally just dragged and dropped this straight into procreate and it opened into procreate there is a video online about how to install brushes um and i'll leave that in the description for you guys if you want to check it out but this actually bundled everything already into the brush pack so I don't have to do anything before I had to add the brushes one by one uh, so like the ink box one I did and the essential paint box that I did but this one is a hefty boy this has literally got so many brushes we've got lettering we've got clouds blooming clouds blooming seep sharp edges moist shafts there is literally so much that I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of these brushes um, in this video but it's fun to try out some of these so I'm just gonna grab like let's start with this lettering I'm just gonna do some swatches uh, let's pick a nice pink color oh oh my gosh that texture what so this one is designed for watercolor I be oh, that is so nice I think this one is designed for hand lettering oh, oh that texture though what the heck wow that's beautiful so that was the floor lettering and there's also painterly watercolor lettering this one's a little bit more i don't know that like soft whoa look at so if you press really lightly if you press really lightly with this one and then press hard look at that wow look at the textures on that that's pretty impressive if you ask me the texture is so nice that is nice so that was just a lettering one so that was a lettering one that's another lettering one here which is a bit more fat but the texture is equally as beautiful look at that texture what the heck uh then we've got a flecked hard edge oh can you see what the brush is doing here? 
that's interesting. Hard dark edge. Whoa, look at that. That actually looks very similar to a watercolor. Now I haven't added any paper textures or anything, but I'm assuming when you add paper textures that it will look even more like a watercolor texture. That's so impressive, what the heck? Blooming cloud. So this must be to add kind of to the texture there. So we've got blooming cloud, seep edge. So after you illustrate, you can kind of add these textures to it to really give it that watercolor feel. Now this is edge bleed. So that's impressive. Blooming seep again. Moist, sh whoa, whoa. Moist, sharp edges. Check that out. That's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do justice to this brush pack. This looks like it'll take quite a while to get used to and really explore all of these features, but we'll still try and do a little illustration um, and see what we come up with. That one is very nice. Whoa, I like this one. Look at the texture on that one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Is it weird to get this excited about some brush packs on appropriate? Oh, look at that, how satisfying. There's a lot going on. I can't, I'm not even halfway down the brush pack. Also got some smudge tools here. So you can add salt, as if you were adding salt to, whoa. Look at that, a watercolor painting. We've got ones that say like, push down for color, push down for water. So I wonder what this does. Whoa, that was huge. <laughs> this is very impressive. So it's as if you kind of push in, pushing the color around with some water. That's what I'm assuming it's trying to emulate here. That is super impressive. I'm not even halfway with all the tools and everything. You get some brushes here that have paper texture. Oh, what, what are these? Oh, ho, ho. without further ado, I'm gonna get into some sketching and doing a cute Olaf. So I decided to actually use a paper stack um, for file that they actually provided in the pack and I just started experimenting with all the different brushes I really needed to get to grips with what textures did what what were good for washes what were good for backgrounds so here is me just playing around with different brushes different angles and then I found a brush that was really really nice for the sky so I ended up experimenting with that I experimented with some different smudge tools some colors and textures to get kind of this nice watercolory style type background. Now I will admit that backgrounds are not my forte and doing this illustration definitely put my mind to the test and my skills to the test because it's not something I usually do but I had so much fun doing it and the scene that I wanted to kind of give off and I was inspired by was the frozen scene where Kristoff and Anna meet Olaf under the trees and the trees are all really really sparkly and stuff. They also have an amazing setup like that in Disney worlds that have like a frozen two ride and it is so pretty so I wanted to have those purpley white hues um, in the scene and I wanted to try and make Olaf really cute. His body was a bit of a challenge and I actually do kind of regret not sketching him out a few times to kind of get a feel of his shape and the way his body would move because his body is like detachable like snowballs and I had that in mind but it was still quite a challenge trying to put them all together.
Now for those of you who know my illustration style, this is slightly different to what I usually do, but it's fun to experiment and I wanted to kind of go in it and just experiment with different shading, different textures, and just explore different options with this brush pack. And you never know how your style is going to adapt. You adapt and you develop your style through these sorts of experimentation. And I honestly had the funnest time illustrating this. Now I really wanted to go in and make the background a little brighter and a little bolder and I also wanted to experiment with the blooming pens that they have which was like this blooming effect to make the watercolour look more authentic. So I went in with a different layer, I added some colour burn um, effects and I went around the image to kind of make it a little bit more bold and add some nice deep saturation in there and then I also added some blooming yeah, blooming watercolour effects. I really love how they turned out. One thing I will say with this is Olaf's head here is such an odd shape, uh, but I made the mistake of kind of illustrating and painting all on one canvas, a lot of it anyway, and it just, yeah, ignore the weird shaped head. But here you can see me using that blooming pen to give a more authentic watercolour feel. I'm just experimenting and putting it all over the canvas to make it look, yeah, like a natural bleed of the paper and the water when mixed with colour and it looked so authentic. Well, I personally thought it looked authentic. I don't know about you guys, but I think it turned out pretty awesome. Here as well is a new favourite pen of mine. This was the gouache, a new gouache um, pen supplied with this water colour pack and honestly, it went on so nice. So I kind of just went in with some snow and some pretty sparkles and stuff to finish off the piece. I then went in and darkened some areas up um, of Olaf itself because I felt like he was kind of blending a bit too much into the background and I wanted him to stand out in the centre of the canvas. So I just opened a new layer and selected multiply and I experimented with different pens um, in the brush pack and just tried out a few different things until I got the feel that I wanted. And then I stopped because I have the habit of overworking things and over processing things. So I just stopped at this point and thought, right, this is enough. I then finished off with the lettering brush that they supply and it is so satisfying to write with. I'm definitely going to be using this brush, brush in the future. Brush? Brush? <laughs> but that's it. That's how my illustration turned out. I really, really enjoyed experimenting with this brush pack. What do you think, guys? Do you like how it turned out? So I actually went back in, adjusted the head a little bit, and I thought I would show you kind of the difference between the paper texture and without the paper texture over the top. It's quite interesting because I do think the paper texture definitely gives that more authentic watercolour look. And this, like I say, is supplied in this brush pack, but without the paper texture is equally as nice, but obviously not as saturated and not as dark. So I think this basically comes up with personal preference. Definitely let me know in the comments which one you prefer, the with paper texture or without the paper texture. that's it I really 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 enjoyed using this brush pack like seriously this was freaking epic the texture is just insane the only thing I wish I did was I wish I sketched out Olaf on a few different pages to get a feel for his shape uh, because I really struggled and looking at it now the head and body doesn't really look very fluid it looks very flat and 2d but other than that the experimentation was quite fun and it's a lot different to what I usually do like my process that I usually do I added a background which I never normally do and this is verified that I really really need to practice landscapes and backgrounds in general because I'm very very rusty and it took me a long time for something that was pretty basic um but once I played around with the brushes and experimented with different ones I can safely say that this is one of the best watercolor brush packs I have ever personally used I haven't used like hundreds and hundreds of watercolor brushes I've used some ones on procreate this blows the ones on procreate out of 
of the park um, and I've used ones on Photoshop over the years and this one just the textures and everything the paper that they supply as well in the packs really helps give it that texture but I'm excited to put this into my usual style because I normally use the gouache brush and mind you I haven't used that for quite some time now I've been doing very very digital sort of looking illustrations lately and also they have this blooming um, watercolour thing where you can add it over the top just to give it that little bit extra touch of realism to watercolours I don't know how to describe it but it's basically like that blooming thing and I added an extra layer over the top and colour burned it and kind of created like the blooms along here just to give it that extra little touch it'll be interesting to see if people actually think this looks like watercolor let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this does this look like authentic watercolor does it look like i've done it on paper and scanned it in let me know i'd like to know what you think of this brush pack so yeah that's it trying out the watercolor brush pack and i am very very impressed with this so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you thought of this video and let me know if you want to see more procreate brush reviews and experiments and tryouts and stuff i'm very excited to use these in the future in some of my other works this has to be one of my favorite brush packs that i've tried out so far very good big thumbs up okay guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one all right then i love you i'll just bang my head goodbye